Types of beams and type of loading on beams. Types of beams. Simply supported beam. This beam is resting on two supports, A and B. These supports are at the extreme ends of the beam. Overhanging beam. This beam is also resting on two supports, A and B. But the portion of this beam is overhanging on one side of the support. This overhang can be on the left or the right side, or the overhang can be on both sides of the beam. Fixed beam. This beam is fixed on its both ends. Continuous beam. This beam is also a simply supported beam. The only difference is that it has more than two supports. Cantilever beam. The cantilever beam is a rigid structural element that extends horizontally and is supported at only one end. That is this beam is fixed only at this point. Before moving on, I would like to take a moment to thank my viewers for taking a moment out of their busy lives to like and subscribe, because every time you do it, it genuinely supports me, so thank you so much for those of you out there that take a moment to do so. Types of loading on beams. To represent all types of loads on a beam I will use a simply supported beam, this can be any type of beam in real life situations. Point load or concentrated load. When a load is acting at a point on a beam, such load is called point load. And there can be multiple point loads, W1, W2, and W3, acting at points C, D, E. Uniformly distributed load, UDL. When the load is acting throughout the beam such load is called uniformly distributed load or UDL. It can also be represented like this. Here, the intensity of load is given, such as W per meter. While solving the problem this UDL is converted into point load. And is considered to be acting from the center of UDL. Uniformly varying load, which is also called, UVL. The load whose intensity increases from one end of the beam to the other end is called uniformly varying load. Here there can be two situations. First, the load can vary from zero from one end that is at point A, to W1 on the other end, that is at point B. This kind of load is called a triangular load. Here the load acts at a distance equal to L by 3. Second, the load can vary from W1 to W2. This kind of load is called trapezoidal load. I hope you have understood the different types of beams and loadings. If you are new to my channel, Click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification to get all the latest videos uploaded by me.